This is your introduction to the Aetna Drivo Trainer System. We want to explain the car, the films, how your progress will be measured, and other unique features of the program. Your school has provided the most advanced training facilities available in an effort to help you become a safe and skillful driver. The Air Force uses a similar technique in training pilots. They use flight simulators of this type. Commercial airline pilots are checked out on simulators like this one. Before assignment to our underwater atomic, submariners also are trained on simulating devices. Astronauts on our aerospace team are prepared with simulators for their explorations into the weightless void of space. You may have seen or used simulators before. This pitching machine, for instance, helps to sharpen a batter's eye and perfect his timing. Football players use these blocking sleds to develop the good form and coordination needed for game-winning performance. Drivo trainer units are used by trucking companies and military bases in their training, evaluation, and driver improvement programs. Today's driving requires good form in fundamental maneuvers, precise timing in blending with traffic, planning and strategy when approaching potential hazards, and quick, accurate responses when faced with emergencies. The most effective method of developing these abilities without endangering yourself or others is by means of simulators and scientifically programmed instruction such as provided in your Aetna Drivo Trainer system. You will operate your Drivo Trainer car over miles and miles of filmed roadways and experience a wide variety of traffic situations. Your Drivo Trainer car has all the controls found in a modern automobile. As you drive, your actions will be scored by this master recorder to which each car is individually connected. This instant reader provides immediate evaluation of correct and incorrect responses, and the recording unit prints a permanent record of your performance in each lesson. When turning a corner, for example, you will be checked to see if you signal, brake, and if you turn the wheel the proper amount and at the right time. In traffic, you must make the correct response at the proper time, and this recorder checks to see if you did. Now follow our instructor's actions and learn to operate the controls of your Drivo trainer car. Some of your actions will be scored. To reach the pedals and other controls, you may need to adjust your seat. Make sure it is locked in place. Your left knee should be bent slightly when the clutch is pressed down. And you should be able to reach all the controls comfortably. This is your fuel gauge. Generator and oil pressure gauge. Ignition key and starter switch. Start your engine by turning the ignition key full right. The red lights on your generator and oil pressure gauges go out when the engine starts. If you stall your engine during a drive, this red light will go on. Turn the ignition off. To release the parking brake, pull slightly and turn, then let it move forward. Pull straight back to apply. Try the steering wheel. Grip it firmly, but not too tightly. Note the position of the hands, like 10 minutes to 2 on a clock. 
you will find this position is comfortable and provides maximum steering control, as well as greatest leverage in case of emergency. For slight turns, such as steering around a bend in the road, turn the wheel about this much. Bring it back smoothly to a straight ahead position. When turning at an intersection, the wheel must be turned farther. Notice the smooth hand over hand technique. The amount and speed of steering depends on the degree of the turn and the speed of the car. Practice and experience will perfect your steering skills. Signal for a right turn by moving the lever up and giving this hand signal recommended by the Uniform Vehicle Code. Now give a left turn signal by moving the lever all the way down and holding your arm like this. If the hand signals in your state differ from uniform traffic code recommendations, your instructor will demonstrate them for you. Note the light on the left-hand side of the instrument panel is indicating a left turn. Push the turn indicator lever all the way up. This light indicates that your right directional signal is on. Place directional signal lever in the off position. Now the interior directional signal lights are out. Intentions to slow down or stop are signaled in this manner. Another signaling device is the horn. Press your horn ring once or twice. It will not make an audible signal, but your action will be recorded. The horn has many important uses, but should never be used to express impatience or as a substitute for braking. Braking is important. Most stops can be planned in advance and require only gentle pressure on the brake pedal. Note that the ball of the foot is used on the pedal. Apply gentle pressure to stop. Just before the car stops, ease up slightly, then resume firm pressure. Now remove foot from brake. Pumping the brake pedal gently slows the car gradually. And the flashing stoplights provide a signal to drivers following. Foot off brake. When faced with an emergency, apply your brake hard and fast. Hit your brake. Foot off brake. Between the gradual and emergency stops are many variations in braking techniques which you will learn as the course progresses. Like the brake, the accelerator pedal is operated with the right foot. Proper placement of your foot on the pedal is essential for precise speed control. Your heel should rest firmly on the floor as you apply gradual pressure to the pedal. When you have learned to fully operate your drive trainer car, the speedometer will indicate your speed like this. Ease pressure on accelerator to hold speed constant. Place foot on floor. This is the manual shift lever. Used with the clutch pedal, it permits you to shift gears manually without stalling the engine. The clutch is operated with the left foot. Your drive trainer car is unique in that it can be converted to either manual shift or automatic drive. To convert to automatic, push the clutch to the floor and with your left hand, pull out the button near the steering column. Remove your foot from the clutch pedal and notice that it remains down. When using automatic drive, gear ranges are selected by buttons. Let's try them. N stands for neutral.
D stands for drive. L stands for low. R stands for reverse. To change from automatic to manual shift, press the clutch pedal down, push the dash button in, and let the clutch up. Ample opportunity to use all these switches, instruments, and controls is provided as you drive through the film traffic situations in the Drivo Trainer program. Another unique feature of your Drivo Trainer car is the mirrors attached to the back of the seat. Our driver adjusts the right hand mirror to reveal the screen. He grips the top of the steering wheel with his left hand, places right elbow on the back of the seat, and turns around to look in the mirror. This is the correct position for backing. Now you turn around to back. When backing, you will see a view like this. Face forward. Here are a few examples of instructional film techniques you will see. This is an overhead demonstration of parallel parking. With this film technique, correct driving procedures can be explained in detail and expertly demonstrated. Here's a segment graphically illustrating the mathematics of passing. You will apply the strategy learned from such illustrations in film situations like this. Here, you operate your Drivo trainer car and follow the actions of an experienced driver. When he signals, you signal. When he steers, you steer. In another type practice experience, you have a driver's eye view of conditions ahead and the mirrors constantly alert you to traffic behind and alongside your car. Occasionally, when encountering special traffic problems, we will call certain conditions to your attention. Many times, however, you will be expected to anticipate potential dangers. You will learn to check in both directions at intersections. We do it this way. After stopping, the camera scans first in one direction then in the other. As you steer around corners, the camera scans in the direction of your turn. If you accelerate too soon or too late, or steer too little or too much, the picture you see on the screen will not be affected, but your actions will be recorded on the score sheet. Narrative commentary synchronized with the films will help you to continually evaluate your own performance and reinforce your learning of correct driving procedures. This is the way it is done. Did you signal? Are you turning smoothly, hand over hand? By consistently practicing correct techniques and fundamental operations, backing, parking, driving in city traffic, on rural highways, expressways, in emergencies, and in all kinds of weather, your experiences in the Drivo trainer car will make it easier for you to successfully handle similar problems in your own car.
Perhaps you were wondering how you will be advised of your progress. This may be done in several ways. The master score sheet looks like this. The circles tell the instructor which actions each of you performed and whether they were correct. One method of explaining your progress is by means of personal record sheets distributed after each film showing. Your teacher will check his master score sheet and tell you what you did right and what you did wrong. You will record his comments on your personal record sheet. If you have difficulty learning certain techniques, your teacher will give you individual help as he circulates around the room while the film is being shown. Occasionally, the entire class may need special help. Then your teacher might stop the projector in the middle of a film to explain the problem or to demonstrate on a chalkboard. In any event, always feel free to discuss your progress with your teacher. Now you've learned about the car, briefly previewed the types of films to be used, and received a general description of what to expect as your drive trainer course progresses. Let's conclude with a short drill. Follow the instructor as he converts to automatic and demonstrates correct starting procedures.